Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, uh, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Wala kayong upuan? Then, the commanding officer or the highest there, give the order of Tikas Pahinga. Thank you for the courtesy. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana. Presidential Advisor for Military Affairs, Artur Tabaquero. General Ray Leonardo Guerrero, Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines. Director General Ronald De La Rosa, Philippine National Police. Lieutenant General Carlito Galvez, Commander, Western Mindanao Command. Lieutenant General Rolando Bautista, Commanding General, Philippine Army. Brigadier General Sirito Subihana, Commander, Joint Task Force, Sulu. My good friend, uh, Steven Sigal. <laughs> Sumama talaga dito. Sabi niya, sama ako. Bigyan mo lang akong ng import at okay na. Uh, talagang true to life officers and enlisted personnel of the Joint Task Force Sulu, mga kababayan. Alam mo, gusto ko rin marinig uh, ang mga boses nito. Nakita kami pero sandali lang. So I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Steven Sigal to give us about a few words of uh, your thoughts about the Filipinos and the sacrifices that my soldiers have to do. And maybe some inspiring words. You can take the lectern over there. Well, first of all, thank you very much, President Duterte, for uh, having me here today in the presence of these troops. Uh, I would like to commend you all for your commitment to your country, your president, and commitment to do the things that you have to do to make the Philippines safe. Uh, we have a problem. We have kidnapping, narco-trafficking, human trafficking, organ trafficking, and terrorism. These are the big things that we are faced with in the Philippines, you are faced with. I know that you guys put your life on the line every day. I myself have done and will do the same thing. So I understand that this is serious business. And I believe that there is a formula that can help the armed forces, the police, the intelligence network to combat this very, very well. I am looking forward to discussing these things with President Duterte at a later time. I do believe all of this is winnable. This is a war. It is all winnable. And I think the main thing that we all have to keep in our mind and our heart is we don't win this battle today. We don't win this battle tomorrow. This is a fight that's going to be a long fight. But the idea is to annihilate the enemy through attrition. Every day, you have to say to yourself, this isn't going to be over today. It's going to be a long battle. But slowly, day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, the enemy will get smaller and smaller. And finally, they will be gone to the point where it is absolutely and positively controllable. This is the strategy that I believe is the way for you in your hearts and your minds to take a step forward every day. I hope I can be involved with all of you in this war against all of these evil things. And again, I want to thank you all for your courage, your devotion, your commitment, and thank uh, President Duterte and his entire staff here today. Thank you, Salamat Po. Thank you.
Thank you, Stephen. And uh, wag ko na lang basahin ang report na to. I'm running out of time. I have something more uh, substantial sa puso ko. Unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako sa inyo mga sundalo ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Sa sacrifice, sa pagtiis, sa lahat na bagay. Harapin ang kahirapan, kamatayan. Just like what uh, my friend Steven said, sundalo to eh. So halos magkapareho ang wavelength ninyo kung magsalita. Ako naman ay tried to do the best uh, that I could in the in dumaang mga buwan. We had this uh, crisis in Marawi and I know that the Filipino soldiers fought valiantly at saka we prevailed. Uh, it is a war that uh, we do not like. As a matter of fact, uh, I would say that nobody wins uh, in a civil strife. Pagka communal wars kasi sa loob lang ng isang bayan yan. And we would like uh, to seek peace. Huwag ko sana kanyang mag-misinterpret sa aking mga diskarte. Kasi po, I am a president for peace. I am not an authoritarian uh, aristocratic na huwid suba, a despot. Hindi ko yan eh. May, tayo may limitado sa konstitusyon. At ikaw at ako, you know, we swore to protect the people and defend the republic in its integrity and territorial uh, bounds. So, dumaan tayo ng hirap. At true ko sa pangako ko, I am really very sorry it came late. It was not because uh, I promised you without the money. When I promised you na magbigay ako, ang pera ko nandoon na. The suppliers were the ones who could not keep up with the demand. Imagine I was arming, uh, I'd be arming about 130. Na ang pera ko, nireserba ko na. Problem is, uh, you know how things are. Uh, dumaan ng mga mga bureaucratic, including all of these things, would pass by America. And uh, there's a lot of paperwork to do. But uh, it is pursued all in the name of uh, control of crimes, sa sinabi, human trafficking. But number one is terrorism, human trafficking. And you should read, umaabot ba ang CNN dito? Hindi, Hindi no? But you have the satellite here para makuha ninyo. Kapag wala, wala silang ano, si CNN o baka makuha ninyo ng satellite so that you'll be posted every day what is uh, happening to the world. It's a crazy world. Lahat ito, putok dito, putok doon, and even the mosques, the holy shrines. And you must understand that also initially, it took us uh, too long to decide. I was the one uh, holding back the... So, huwag kayong maano, kasi I had to oftentimes really insist na we, de we do not destroy the shrines and the mosques and everything. Because foremost in my mind, actually, was the life of about 2 million 500 Filipinos all deployed as helpers working there as uh, in the oil industry. There are about doctors, nurses. Eh, pagka hinayaan ko lang, sabi ko, medyo nandahan lang so that we do not inflame passions. So I said, I have to worry about the other Filipinos outside. Yun, iniisip ko rin eh. Kaya medyo natagalan, but uh, ultimately, sabi ko na, there was a time, but I called every significant leader in the East. Sinabi ko sa kanya lang ang problema. President of UAA was the first. We, you know, we cannot stand uh, 
long there, there is still made an impasse that has to be solved. <coughs> so, naintindihan nila yon At uh, in the end, sabi ko kay Defense Secretary Lorenzana, pati kay General Anyo na wala na tayong magawa so we have to take the offensive. So, there was much destruction but uh, we, there was no other way to do it. So, ayaw ko marami yung patay but I have lost so many soldiers and policemen along the way. And it saddens me to just even think that another strife is coming because I really don't want to, to kill Filipinos. But of late, uh, mga NPAs have become brazen at, at tayo pa ang tinatakot Ako pa yung gago. Well, anyway, sabi ko, kung hindi tayo magkaintindihan, I've been trying to fix these things for 50 years. So you want another 50 years of war? Eh, sabi ko, yun ang gusto ni Ayaw ko. Pero yan ang gusto ninyo. Wala tayong magawa. I'll just have to react on what is your behavior. Eh, ayaw talaga. Nung, may mayroon peace talks wa si... Bellio, Secretary Bellio and Secretary Doresa. Matagal naman yan. And uh, this has been a long, almost 50 years of talking for nothing. So many presidents tried it. I did. Because sabi ko, wag, wag masabihin balang araw na I did not try to reach to them out. Wag sabihin ako mismo, hindi ako nag, wala akong initiative. I was the first to do it by releasing political prisoners and conceded to the communists too much too soon. Uh, ganun pa rin sila, but the working papers that were sent to me sa usapan nila, may, may, may kopya ako eh, electronic copies. Tinitignan ko ang suma total. Gusto nila ang coalition government. So I told them, I cannot give you what I do not own. Sovereignty is always placed in the hands of the elected people. Gusto ng tao. And it cannot be given by extension na magkwalisyon kayo, bigyan kayo at that piece, even isang kuting sa sovereignty. We serve there for a time, then we go out. Sovereignty is only transferred to the elected leaders. Yan pinili ng tao. He might be a son of a bitch. Basta pinili ng tao, yun yun siya. That is what the Constitution provides. And that was the, the, the rule of a democracy. Kaya sabi ko, hindi ko maibigay sa inyo. Gira na lang. So we are back to square one. I would just like to say to you now, that in, matagal man, long time in coming, but I complied with my promise na bigyan ang lahat ng sundalo ng kayong mga awardees. Congratulations. Uh, saludo ako sa inyo. And most of you are awardees. Dalawa yung baril ninyo na ibinigay ko. Yung isa yung cover. Yung nabigyan na, yung issued. Yung ngayon, personal na yan. So yung dalawa, meron dyan dalawa. Kung gusto mong dalhin yung dalawa, eh, hindi, pagkawaan, pagpunta mong sabay nila, magbili ka yung dalawang holster. Tignan natin, practice ka dito sa, yung, bang, 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 ganun. Parehas sini. But, you know, hindi, do not be offended. Eh, kasi alam ninyo, nangyayari rin yan eh. Pwede ba kung isang la ninyo dito na lang sa akin? Huwag sa ibang tao, ha? Well, padala mo lang doon, sabihin mo na kay CEO mo dito. Na, sir, i-print ako muna ito kay... But I have told you, if you have a problem, I give you my number. If you cannot solve your problem here, or hindi kaya solve rin, just call me. Maybe... Just maybe, kaya kong sulbarin. 
Kasi ako, believe ako sa servisyo ninyo. Sa lodo ako. Never was a time. Na walang ibang, hindi ako nagyayabang. Walang ibang presidente. Dalawa lang. Ang pagbigay ng atensyon na kinakailangan para sa isang sundalo. Ako lang pati si Marcos. Marcos was also a lover of soldiers. Kakita mo yung increases ninyo. Malapit naman ang Disyembre. Pero yung iba, pagbili na siguro ninyo, no? Yung sweldo. Doon na sa 5-6. Putang. Huwag mong ibigay doon. Hindi ko man ibigay yan sa... Hindi ko ihulog yan sa ano. Bong, hanap ko ng paraan. At kikitain ang Pasko nito. Ang yayaman, ang 5-6. Sabihin mo yan sa Turko. Ayan na. Yun, ang bayad mo sa akin, andito ka, nagdegosyo ka. Huwag mo akong pilitin magbayad. Putang ina, dalawa itong baril ko, mamili ka kung saan mo gusto. <laughs> eh, natural. Para sa pamilya yan. So, kayong mga walang pamilya, bigay mo yan sa nanay, mga kapatid. Uh, that money is not intended for somebody else's pocket. So, ibigay ko yan sa inyo. Hindi dyan sa ano, kay nakasangla na yan doon sa ATM, ATM. Kalukuha niya. Uh, diretso. Doble na ang, uh, halos doble na ang sweldo ninyo. So, ang pinakamayaman dyan, mga generals. Eh, hey, sigurado. Alam mo, ang sweldo ko, ha? Totoo yan. You can check it out. My salary when I Nagiging presidente ako was 57,000. Kaya ako nagdadaldal noon. Kasi totohanan yun from the heart. Putang ina. Ang pamilya ko dalawa. Paano na ito ngayon? May, may, ako, may pamilya ako na mayor na matapang. Baka barilin ako noon kung hindi ako mag-remit. Yung isa naman, alang-alang. So, about it yan. Ang sweldo ko is just about 107 something. Pero kayong mga generals ngayon, <laughs> kung 116,000, dublado na. Totoo! Mas malaking sweldo ang general. Kaya sabi nila, Sige sir, salamat. Kami na mismo mag-assault dyan sa kung saan-saan. <laughs> Pero ganitong usapan ha. Di ba sinabi ko sa inyo noon? Do you remember that? Andito ako. Sabi ko sa inyo, unlike the policemen, you do not have sidearms. So when you walk out, you're sitting ducks. Ang ayaw ko dyan sa NPA, kaya ako galit. Talagang galit ako sa kanila. Kasi hindi pa natapos yung ceasefire, pinagbabaril na nila yung mga sundalo ko, pati polis. Yung sa Minsayap ba yun? Ang bandang Minsayap. Binaril nila, and armed, naglalakad lang, hintay ng sakyan. And when I asked the forensics kung ilan ang tama ng sundalo, 73 gunshot wounds. Kaya, kaya pumutok talaga ako. Tinawagan ko si Jar Anyo. Na-bypass ko na nga si Secretary Lorenzana. Sabi ko, let's go offensive. Ngayon, wag na kayong maghintay na mag-ano pa. But I, I will be, be buying something. Lahat ng kailangan ninyo to succeed in your mandate, ibibigay ko sa inyo. Sigurado yan. Magtayo ako ng nightclub dito sa uh, para galing away. Wala nga, no? Yung sayaw-sayaw lang. Kailangan kung galawin mo, pakasalan mo. Um, uh, ano ako dito? But really, uh, if you do not have the satellite connections, uh, I will ask the yung pinakalaking makuha. Because the, the world is too dynamic Uh, every day there's another uh, new development. So that kayo dito, uh, 
na kung bakit nandito ako ngayon, nabi ko, I will fixing my calendar, sinabi ko, unahin ko ang hulok kasi yun ang pinakamalayo. I came here to just give you the guns. There's about 100,000 there, some 2,000, and another. Pilabong? 50 million kada usa? Ah, hindi mo na maubos yan, puto. 50 million kada subre? Ah, 2,000. Bang padaplan dia, barilun ka. 2,000. Pero, oh. Tsaka yung ano, yung, yung malaki yung wounded, may 100,000 kaya dyan. Seriously wounded. So, pumunta ako dito to greet you well in advance, a very Merry Christmas, and to my Muslim brothers and sisters, uh, celebrate with us uh, the holidays. We would be glad to have you join us, and we will be proud with your presence. It's all for humankind at that time. Kung maaari lang, wala naman tayong talagang hatred for each other to the point that we cannot talk together. We can celebrate Christmas together. So nandito ako to say uh, Merry Christmas and uh, for those who be left behind during the holidays, skeletal man lang siguro maiwan, no? Uh, uwi ba halos kayong lahat? Kasi yung magpaiwan, tiis lang kayo. Hong Kong ang price ninyo. Basta magpaiwan dito. Hindi pwede magdala ng asawa. Kabit lang. Para mas maganda ang labanan. Ang asawa, away pa yan. No, asawa, pagdating niya sa kwarto, isang oras, sigawa na yan. Pero kung uyab, ah, honeymoon talaga. <laughs> Sige, yung maiwan lang dito sa kampo, hindi ko naman kayo mapadala lahat. Maybe one or two or three or four. Magandang koleksyon, hindi lahat. Ang wala kayong uyab kasi busy kayo sa fighting. Ah, mag, ano, ako doon sa Manila. Mamili na lang kayo, ligawan ninyo. Mahal lang. Walang babae na papayag na ano. Ligawan mo na yan. Tapos you have about three days to convince the woman to be with you in Hong Kong. Bong, mga tulo ka buok. Yeah, parag yun, mapura. Yawa ni. Uh, tagduha ang escort. Puro ligawan ninyo yan, ha? Huwag ninyong pabuntisan. Discharge kayo. Pero yung dalawa mag magsabay buntis, uh, believe ko yung promosyon yan. <laughs> Biro mo mo kasabay ka? Kani? So, ginoo ko, hindi hinto to. So, I hope that uh, stay be very careful. Uh, sana, paano, paano man bawi ko yung kahirapan ninyo. And, you know, I was there all the time to be with you because I wanted to be with my soldiers. Uh, you know, may ipakita ko sa inyo na talagang mahal ko ang sundalo ko. And I said, at any, at any other time, <laughs> ibibigay ko sa inyo yung kailangan, the tools na kailangan ninyo sa... Tsaka yung mga ano, bong, ang uniforme bong, ng huwam na na. O ang uban ana, ang nasulog patong sa ubang ng siguro, dungan ni ko sa kwarto lang. So, uh, I said, some of you will be left behind. Uh, but somehow, uh, at least my bong. Okay, uh, 
Mayro akong iwan sa inyong dito ngayon kunti. But uh, sa Christmas party, ako nang magsagot sa Christmas party sa lahat lang dito. Sa... <coughs> <coughs> Tayong buong baka. Maraming sundalo dito na moro. Pero ba't yung sundalo na moro dito? Kasi baka, baka rin. Nabay dagang baka nga rin, unang hurot nagkawat. Oo, oh, tama lang. Uh, ako na ang mag-blow out sa inyo na Christmas party. Uh, soldiers, uh, word of honor, sino nagbe-birthday ngayong araw na to? One, two. Oh, one, two, three. Three? Pinaka-senior. Senior, senior. Pinaka-senior. Paling mo na dito. Pinaka senior sa nag-birthday. Seniority mo na. Eh, military ito. Lahat na nag-birthday ngayong araw na to dito. Unahin ko yung pinaka senior. Sino? Seniority. Post mo senior. Alika. Kita mo, wala nga ang rilo. Puri siya. Matiba yan. Ikaw na maglagay ako. Putang yan. Ah! Mahuli na lahat. Mahuli na. Pati mahuli. Bili ba ko siya, sir? Happy birthday. Sunod. Mga divers watch. Mauritire na sila. Di na madaot. Ito, mauritire ka na lang. Huwag mo lang ihampa sa kuwit ng babae. Matibay. Happy birthday. Portillo, happy birthday. May sawa ka? Di la sir na. Birthday mo ngayon? Ilang taon ka na? May sawa ka na? Thank you sir. Masyadong gumagmadali. Okay. Isa pa? Wala ha? Tatlo lang. Apat na. Binubulungan na ako dito sa likod. Wala na raw... Daylight time, sunset time ako, limitado ako. I want to talk to more about you, but yeah, yeah, some other time. Maraming salamat at... Uh,